Alright, we're at the uh, Honda Meat. Um, Got some pretty nice cars showing up. Let's take a look at some of the cars that are over already. Turbo B20. Uh, this has an LS in it. Turbo D16. Turbo R18. Alright, this is what we got so far. Let's see if some more cars show up. What's up guys, um, Ford Banger Mafia here, um, yeah shortly after that footage, uh, it ended up raining as you can see it was already wet, um, so yeah we had to kind of cut that short, so, but um, we all had a, you know, a little good time, but, uh, meeting up with each other and stuff, um, so, in today's video uh, I'm going to talk about, uh, keeps going dark on me sorry about that so today's video we're going to talk about um, things you can do to kind of get ready if you're going to do like a track day so you can stay safe you know the last thing you want to do is be stranded out on the track or uh, damage your daily driver if it's a daily driver or damage your car period nobody wants to have to fix their car so um, I'm going to give you some suggestions um, you can do in order to make sure that you uh, have a safe track day and your car makes it back okay um, before that I just wanted to mention um, if you if you don't know about it uh, this channel is having a 500 sub giveaway so basically at when this channel reaches 500 subscribers um, I will be giving away a Monero which is basically crypto money so uh, it's a money giveaway. Um, one Monero, I think, right now is uh, about $68. It's been kind of fluctuating between $68 and $71. Um, probably be more in the future. Um, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and put that in the... I'll card it on the video. Um, so you'll see it come up top over here or over here. Um... <laughs> So yeah, make sure you check that video out so you can find out how you can win once this channel reaches 500 subscribers. Um, it's free money. And um, also I want to mention, um, if you're thinking about buying a used car or whatever, be sure to check out the link that I put in the description about checking your car history. Because if you use that link instead of going somewhere else, it helps this channel. And when you help this channel, this channel helps back so um, the more help that I get the better giveaways I can do in the future um, all right so let's get back up. so one important thing to have a you know safe track day make sure your car makes it okay and survives is to get an oil pan baffle so basically Trying to get some light. All right. So basically, when you are um, when you're experiencing cornering forces, um, it kind of moves the oil around in the engine. Well, not kind of. It does, um, and it actually can end up starving your engine of oil when it moves away from the oil pump. Um, this is an issue for left turns mostly on RSX. Um, it can be resolved by just buying like a bolt-in um, oil baffle pan for the oil pan. Um, I think High Tech makes um, an oil pan and or an oil baffle 
and a uh, and a um, per, uh, bleh, a uh, per, high performance oil pump. Um, another thing you can do is also um, I've heard you can do you can modify a uh, Honda S2000 oil pump and it will work better as well. Um, but yeah, basically that will help prevent the oil starvation that you'll get whenever you're having experiencing high corner forces especially if you're on like our compound tires um, you definitely need to look into uh, making sure that your oil stays where it belongs and it is able to be cycled through the engine properly so all the moving parts can be lubricated and your engine can stay cool you know you don't want that high friction and the engine getting you know warm as an, as it is is already being beaten on by doing constant laps around the track you got to take into consideration this is not an autocross course even though i would still you know do these same precautions for autocross um, but this is you know typically a track is like over a mile long and you're doing laps on it so take that into consideration when, um, when you go out there about what it's doing to your car um, <laughs> Another thing, um, these are things that are probably going to ask you to do before you get on the track. Um, remove, you know, moving items, any like accessories or anything like that. Um, so, so when you get to the track, you don't have to take out a lot of stuff. Um, it'll just save you some time and it will make sure that you don't forget to take something out that could possibly get moved around or uh, jolt around. Um, another thing, of course, make sure your battery is secure. Uh, for you guys who have modified battery relocations or modified battery trays and stuff like that, make sure it is secure and can't get touch anything or remotely. There's no possible remote way that it can get to anything where it can be shorted or cause a fire or anything like that, which I'm pretty sure inspection will kind of look at. Um, Another thing you need to do prior to the track day is make sure all your fluids are good. Your oil is full because you're already going to be dealing with the oil starvation thing if, if with the cornering G's. So at least make sure your oil is full to help prevent that from happening. Um, make sure your brake fluid is good, clean. Make sure... Um, Let's see what other uh, radiator fluid is at the level it's supposed to be. Just make sure everything is good. And after you get done with the track, I really suggest you um, changing those fluids again. The oil, the brake fluid, and everything within a month's time after being on the track. Because um, like I said, you really be on the car when you're on the track. So I would actually change the oil and do the maintenance all over again within a month's time after uh, getting off the track. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Um, you know, just check to make sure all your suspension parts are tight. Um, make sure your, you know, your lug nuts are tightened down. You know, it's common sense stuff, but sometimes, you know, they might get loose and you don't know about it. So the least you can do is check before you get on on the uh, out on the track. Um, I know it's getting kind of dark, but uh, um, I think that'll probably pretty much um, that'll pretty much be everything that I could think of. But you know, don't let my information be the be end of be all or whatever. Um, hit the forums, uh, look at their suggestions as well. What you can do to get ready for a track day. There might be some things I kind of might have forgot because I'm just doing this quick little video um, just to kind of stay active. Um, let me turn this light on. Let me see how this works. Uh, I gotta turn the car on. Uh, well, um, I'm about to end the video anyway. So, if you have any questions about anything, uh, doing a track day or whatever, or you think you need some kind of modification or something like that or whatever, um, just uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll be pretty quick to respond. Um, uh, another thing, yeah.
yeah this is well this is just a quick little video like i said just to be kind of active um and give you guys content you know not the best content in the world but just you know content and uh some things i have coming up um of course is the fourth gear i'm gonna probably be doing a uh do it yourself diy for transmission teardown uh and replacing the fourth gear set um for you guys so um that's coming in the near future probably about oh, a week or so i gotta get a place for the rsx to sit like a storage for the rsx to sit um while the transmission's out right now it's sitting at a, a family friend's garage so I don't want to have my car apart at their garage because they got HOA and stuff like that you know, I mean, you know you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> um, so yeah that'll be it uh, so um, I got DIY coming up and keep in mind I still got the 500 subscriber giveaway going on so don't miss out and if you're not subscribed you gotta subscribe um, and also don't forget to like the videos help support me and I will help support you um, so that about does it I'll see you guys in the next video um, I hope you guys have a good rest of the week peace